All right, so how about talking about diagnosing dyslexia? Now, getting a diagnosis helps put the pieces together of why reading is a struggle for some kids. And a failure to diagnose them can be detrimental to that di dyslexic person. The scientific knowledge that comes with a diagnosis is reassuring. It's empowering. It tells them that it, they're not dumb, that there's not something wrong with them, that they just learn in a different way. They have a reading impairment, not a thinking impairment. And many, many dyslexics think that they're dumb when they're not. If your child is dyslexic, it'll impact them regardless if it's diagnosed or not. Not identifying the problem won't make it go away. Now, a diagnosis can reveal the true intelligence of the person. And we found this to be the case for our daughter because it showed us that she is in a gifted range for her intelligence, but her reading really struggles. And letting her know that she is not dumb was so very important for her. Now, a dyslexia diagnosis, it validates the disparity, the difference between their intelligence and their slow reading. They, they know, they, they don't think that they're dumb, but they see how hard and how slow their reading is, and then they start to question their own intelligence. IQ and reading ability, they're not linked at all, at all. An average reading should not be used to deny a dyslexia diagnosis. Any dyslexic who has average reading is putting forth a whole lot of effort to get that average reading scores. It's all about the manner, the ways in which they read. The way that a dyslexic reads, it's harder for them. The work that it's required for them to decipher written words is much slower 